What are the questions you're currently fielding? Are people turning away from TikTok amid the volatility, the unknowns? Right now, we're educating a whole new generation of creators of what's it like to live and future-proof your business in the creator economy. We've seen this now. We launched our business in 2011. At that point, we were talking about blogs. And then, you know, uh, let's see, next came Pinterest and then Instagram and then Snap and TikTok. So I'm old enough to have lived through several, several generations of platforms. And I've, I see them now where they rise and then they maybe fall out of consumer favor. I like to say there's either a, an evolution of these platforms or a revolution this is something that we have built for specifically at LTK. Um, we're in kind of what I'd call the third chapter. So moving from that first chapter being blogs, second chapter, social media, now third chapter where creators need to find a home base. What we've seen happen on TikTok, they've changed the paradigm for social media. It's no longer about building community. It's about interest-based feeds. So as a creator, I then have to hook someone based on their interest and then bring them back to the home base. And so right now we are um, in an effort to make sure that our, our creators who have started their career on TikTok understand that this is expected, it's prepared for, and they have actionable next steps. I mean, that's really interesting. And what I'm also wondering is how many questions you're fielding on whether the influencer's role is to support one of their key platforms. What's been so notable is this time round, this sudden flurry of activity on the Hill and it's whizzing through Congress. We haven't heard much from the influencer base. Sho Chu puts out a call to say, tell us your stories, make it clear to lawmakers as to why this is so important. Should you be fighting for TikTok? Well, history always also tells us that the platforms are ultimately misaligned to creators. I hate to have to say that, but it's true. The business models just don't work for a creator. They're taking usually 100% margin on their ad revenue and not paying the creator. What the creator gets out of this, what I would still say the symbiotic relationship, is distribution and discoverability. And so a creator's loyalty is truly to their audience and not to the platform. And that's what they're feeling right now, is how do I make sure that my audience knows I'm here, I'm not going anywhere, and where they can find me, because I want to continue to be in a relationship with them because ultimately that is what I have to sell. It's the trust I have with that community, which means I have to have one. Uh, the, the technology secret source, Amber, for TikTok seems to be algorithmic, right? You've talked about uh, interest-based feeds. And in a divest scenario, there's a lot of concern that algorithmically China might act. I don't expect you to weigh in on that, but I think there's a value you add in explaining to our audience how effective... TikTok is, algorithmically speaking, in matching the content to its target audiences? Incredibly effective. It's absolutely changed what it means to be a social media platform. Before this, um, you know, you didn't really think or talk about like explore pages or discovery pages. It was truly about finding someone that you like and then be a recommended another person, which was really more about machine learning than about AI. When TikTok entered the scene, their algorithm is so far superior to what we're seeing on any other platform that you could log into the platform, actually not follow anyone and have a feed that felt like it was absolutely 100% created just for you. Like this platform was made for you. And that's why we see, and if you look across on average where adults are spending their time, TikTok has almost an hour a day on average for adults. And um, that's much greater than I think YouTube's in second place behind them and then falling down behind are all of the other social media platforms. So that is their secret sauce. We know that, of course, in China, there's legislation that they are actually not allowed to export their algorithms. And so in any sort of a divestiture from what the Chinese government is saying, um, the algorithm would not come with the TikTok property. Amber, very quick, if you can't use TikTok, what's the next best thing? LTK. Our creators are, are creating there every single day. Um, they're making it a place where they can connect with their audience. Again, the most important right. thing that a creator has is trust. And that's why we see that actually with Gen Z, they're three times more likely to trust a creator over an ad. We now see that the vast majority of the population now says that they shop from creators. And so as a creator, if trust is what you're selling, how do you stay in touch right. with that audience every day? The job that social media was doing last year, they're not doing for you today. They're a discovery platform. And so you've got to have a place where you're growing your community.